everybody. Um, I'm going to do a haul. Um, me and my husband went to um, Dallas about two weeks ago, and we went to the outlets in Allen, Texas, and they had a CCO there, so I got a couple of things. And then before we left, um, I went to MAC and got a few things, so I wanted to show y'all what I got. So let's get started. First of all, I got a MAC eyeshadow, and I got this at the CCO, and it's called Universal Appeal, and it's just a kind of a marbly, it's got kind of a gold color, purple, and um, a little bit of brown, and when you swatch it, it's kind of a taupey, you can see a little bit of purple in there, it's a real pretty color, and then the next thing I got was this real pretty compact, and this is the outside of it, and then inside it's got a um, and it's magnetic closure. It's got a pink, sh sorry, shimmery powder. And that's it. It's just more just a light sparkle. And then the mirror, sorry, I hope I'm not blinding you. And um, this is real pretty. And it says that it's just a um, sheer spark press powder. I don't really see a color on it. I don't see a color on it at all. Anyway, and then the next thing I got is a blush, and this blush is called um, Sakura. It's S-A-K-U-R-A, -A, and it's real pretty. It's got a little heart on it. It's a real paint, pale pink, and then um, kind of a pink lavender, and then it's got some blue undertones, and then a little dark pink heart, and that's real pretty, and it's just kind of a sheer pink. It really doesn't have a lot of sparkle. It's real pretty. I like that. And then on um, the next thing I got was a lipstick and it's just a little skinny lipstick and I'm not sure like the stuff from the CCO wasn't marked real good. The color is called Love Long Distance and it's just a sheer pink kinda like a gloss really. It hardly gives you any color. I wasn't real impressed with the CCO there. Um, I thought they were going to have a whole bunch of stuff, and um, they really didn't. And stuff that they did have, like clothes and stuff, um, were about the same price as the clothes that you know you could find in the stores. So I wasn't real impressed with that. Anyway, next thing, um, I did a little small haul before we left, and we went to the MAC counter at Dillard's, and I got a lipstick, and the first one I got is Jubilee, and it's a Luster Lipstick by MAC, and it's a real pretty color. It's kind of a brown, even really a darker brown, and this is the swatch. It's real pretty. And then the next thing I got is, um, well I got two, these go together. I got a snob lipstick, because everybody on YouTube says how great this is, and I love pinks. And there's a swatch of snob, and that is a real pretty color. I haven't worn it yet. And then they have a snob lip gloss now. And it's the um, lip gloss. And this is it. And it's more um, of a, it's got more of a blue undertone on that, but that's real pretty, and I'll wear those together. And then the next thing I got was, um, let's see, it's called Woodwinked. It's an eyeshadow. It's a velvet pearl, and this is it. It's just a real pretty brown. I like real neutral colors. Browns are my favorite. It's kind of a, it's got a little shimmer to it. It's a real pretty brown. I thought I could use that in my crease. And then let's see, what else did I get? I got another lipstick. It's called Velvet Teddy. I like the brown tones and pink. Those are my two lipsticks that I really stick with. And this isn't much different than the, other, well, it's a little bit darker and more of a, um, kind of a red tone in it and there it is right there and then that's the what did I see? Um, not the snob let's see the Jubilee this is Jubilee and then this is Velvet Teddy 
So there's quite a bit of difference. And then the next thing I got, and I've used this and I love it, um, since I colored my hair, um, my eyebrows are naturally dark anyway, but I got a eyebrow pencil and it's the Deep Dark Brunette one by MAC and here it is. And then this is the color and it goes on real smooth. It's just a dark brown. And then I like it because it has the little spoolie on the end of it. And then the next thing I got that goes with this, I've been wearing them together. I put the powder on first, and then I use that um, pencil to kind of give me a little bit more coverage in my eyebrows because I have some sparse spots I guess I've over plucked over the years. And this is it, and it's got like a light brown and a darker brown. And this is just, it's called the Brow Duo in Brunette. And then let's see what else I got. Um, Oh, in the mail, I ordered some NARS, um, and I'm not sure if this, yeah, this is it, a NARS blush that one of the YouTubers just said was so great and went with any skin tone, and I really like it. I haven't worn it or tried it yet. I'm sure I'll have to, it's very bright, but it's really pretty, and it's an orange, and it's called Taj Mahal. And I'm sure everybody's seen that. Sorry, I don't mean to blind everybody. And that's a swatch of that. It's a real pretty color, though. I think just lightly. There it is. Just sheer it out. It'll look real pretty. Sorry, that's in a bad spot. And then let's see what else. I've actually kind of been collecting stuff that I've gotten over time and hadn't made a whole bunch of videos yet. And then I'm going to also do some videos where I apply makeup and everything. Um, I had bought a vanity um, from a lady on Craigslist, and it was dark brown, and I really liked it. It was, um, it said it was made in the, um, like 1955, and it was real pretty, real sturdy um, piece of furniture. But I don't have a lot of room in my house, and we, it's a two-story house that we live in. And upstairs, the only thing that's up there is the master bedroom, and then there's a little loft like off the master bedroom. And so um, I'm going to. That's where I had the brown vanity, and now I'm going to. I uh, bought a white one because everything in here I have like a built-in desk is white. So I thought, well, it would look better. And when me and my husband went to Dallas, we went to. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, they have um, furniture, um, more like for dorm rooms and stuff, and I got some cabinets, and I'm going to stack those, and they're white, so they'll go real nice next to this desk, or vanity that I got. It's really a desk, I think, um, but it's all white, and then um, on the, um, I keep saying, um, sorry, when you, um, on the drawers... <laughs> I did it again. On the drawers, um, there's little silver bows, so I thought it was cute. Anyway, um, when I get that, I'll start doing um, actual makeup videos and applying and showing you how I put my makeup on. And also, when we went to Dallas, um, we went to the, on our way home, um, there's a base in Abilene. And like I told y'all before, my husband's in the military and he does reserve time, and he does it out of Abilene. Anyway, they have a small BX, and they have... Um, Clinique and Estee Lauder, and the prices are probably about two or three dollars cheaper than you would get it in town, and then um, no tax, so that's good. Anyway, I got two lip liners, and the first one is um, it's by Estee Lauder, and it's called Rose, and this is the color, and it would go with pretty much all my lipsticks. It kind of looks brown, but it's real pretty light. It's not even that dark. It's really showing dark on the camera. And then it has a little brush. I don't like the brush on them, but it has the little brush there on that. And then I got another color by Estee Lauder. And it's a lip liner too, and it's called Spice. And this is more of a brown color. And there that is, and that's Spice. And really, that's about it. Bad habit. Anyway, um, y'all have a good day, and thanks for watching. Bye.